Girl, are you trying to do the video? Thank you. Are you talking on the phone? Who are you talking to? Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's been a while. Um, hope everybody is well, especially with this coronavirus or COVID-19. Been stuck in the house or on our property now for about two weeks. Um, so we've been having fun just doing stuff around the house, little projects here and there. But today's video I thought would be interesting to um, either expectant moms or people that have young babies, etc. Um, it's about cloth diapers. Now, I know what you're thinking. These are not the cloth diapers your mothers put you in or myself in when we were little. These are totally new, revamped, really awesome. When we first found out we were pregnant, I started looking into them, um, honestly, to save us money and realized that yes, the upfront cost is kind of expensive. A six pack of high quality ones, you're looking at 45 to $60 and that doesn't include inserts. We went with kind of mid low range um, through Amazon and I will put links below in the description box for the diapers that we got and then the inserts that we have. So we ended up buying, well, we were gifted, I believe, two sets of diapers during our um, baby shower, and then I purchased two sets. So we have 24 diapers, which lasts us uh, about two and a half days. So I do laundry every two days. So I know that there are a lot of moms that have a lot more diapers. That way they're not washing as frequently. But I find if I let them sit for more than two days, they get really stinky. So there are lots of different types of cloth diapers. We chose what's called uh, a pocket diaper. This is, this is my wet bag and I just washed them today. So this is full of clean diapers. So these, this is our diaper. So when they're fully, they're fully expand, and they're supposed to be able to fit up to a 35 pound baby. They don't fit newborns very well. There are some newborn hacks with them, but we ended up doing disposables until Everly was about a month old. And then she was able to fit in these on the smallest setting. So there's two rows of little snaps here. So you can snap down There we go. And get the smallest setting. So when it's on your baby, you can see it's like that big. You got your little leg holes. Um, right now, Everly is on the next size up because she's a pretty long baby. So then we snap just to this middle row. Oh, somebody's not very happy with Mama. And so these are called pocket diapers because there's a pocket in the back. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, I'll stick my hand in. Ta-da! So the pocket diapers are really nice because you can double up on your inserts. You can put different types of inserts in. So depending on how much your baby is peeing, you can have more absorbent uh, layers. They do sell all-in-ones where it already has an insert put in and it's sewn in the back so you don't have to pull out the insert. And then there's a couple other kinds. Hold on a second, let me go get the baby. So there's a couple other types that you could look into, but I thought for us, um, this is my favorite, was the pocket. Just because we can make it um, really absorbent. So for at night, she has different types of liners. So the brands that I have, the one that I really like is Alva Baby. And they have really cute prints. There are a couple of websites I've seen for other ones. Um, I think it was like Happy Behinds and 
anyway there's a lot of different types um, that sell different designs I've seen some with Harry Potter I've seen some with Doctor Who I've seen some with the Marvel characters they really have a lot of fun with buying different types so they've got Christmas style and Easter and Fourth of July and all of that so um, the Alva Baby come with these microfiber inserts they come with so you get six diapers and 12 inserts. Um, these are not, they don't hold a ton, but they're really quick to absorb. But they cannot touch the baby's skin. Uh-oh. The one thing you gotta be aware with with cloth diapers is you can't, what is so funny? You can't put anything on your baby's bum that is to repel water. So Vaseline for diaper rashes. You can't put on because it will ruin your cloth so they do sell different types of um, rash ointments and stuff that is safe for cloth diapers but what I've done is I use an insert and put it on the inside of my diaper so it has this little I can't I don't think you can really tell but you have this little insert so that you can put um, Vaseline or butt paste or whatever on your baby's bum if they have a rash. I have found with my cloth diapers that she doesn't get rashes very often or really ever, which is really awesome. Um, what's really cool with the cloth diaper, it, right when they're first young, not on solids, not on formula, if you're exclusively breastfeeding, the poo is water soluble, so you take the diaper off. Put it in your wet. You can put it right into your wet bag or pail, and put it right into your washing machine, and the poo is gone. Um, when they start, if they do are on formula, or when they start food, that cannot go into the wash. So a lot of people have a um, sprayer, so you attach it to your toilet, and you have like this thing that sits on your toilet bowl, and you spray the poo into your toilet bowl. What I've done is I use these inserts, and I don't buy them. Here's a little sneaky hack for you. These are wet wipes. So when she, we clean her, we use a fresh wet wipe, cover her all off, leave it in the diaper, and wash and dry them. And then lay them out, save them, and put them in your diapers. This has saved us. A, you are so loud. <laughs> has saved us a ton of uh, money and time. So when, now that she is on solids, when she does poo and it's in the diaper, I take it to her, take it straight to the trash and dump it right in the trash. Poo, what used wipes, liner, everything. And then you're left with just your wet soil diaper. Um, so when you, So when you do have to wash them, you have to take the inserts out of the diaper. So I tend to pinch on this end and reach in, pinch and pull out and drop right into my washing machine. Um, there are different types of wash routines. I haven't really done a whole lot of research into them because so far what I'm doing seems to be working for mine. Um, I use a Tide Pod, and then I use the Lysol Zero Bleach Sanitizer Liquid. So then I run it as a sanitized load. They don't come out with an ammonia smell. They, they're awesome. Um, so the different types of inserts we have, of course, was the microfiber. And then I've bought, it's called Thirsty's Cotton Doubler. It's really thin, but boy, it can hold a fair amount of liquid. So this one's good. I change her about every two hours, and this will hold two hours worth of pee without, hold on, without any leaking or anything. I was starting to get leaks with just the microfiber because now she is drinking some water. So I found that either just using this cotton doubler as a single insert or putting it with the microfiber, and the microfiber absorbs really quickly, and the cotton insert absorbs slower. So I do the microfiber on top, put the doubler underneath, I pinch so it's full around my finger, and I take my pocket diaper, and I stick it in, and 
pull it up till I reach the top of the diaper and then pull my hand back out. Then I do have to set it down to make sure I flatten out the inserts along the edges so that it's nice and flat. So that when it's back on her, um, it's not bunched or anything. And then what I do is I, I fold it up almost like I'm putting it back on her and snap one button. So that's, this is how I store my diapers. So that they're ready to go. Uh, another insert we use, that's another cotton doubler. I bought these, um, they're called Naturally Nature, and they were supposed to be bamboo cotton inserts, but they're really not um, pure brand bamboo inserts. So these were working really well. You can see how thick it is compared to the microfiber, hopefully. Um, I was using these to start at night for her, and they were working up until about two weeks ago. She started leaking at night. So these are kind of expensive. You get 12 of them for, I think, $30. Again, I'll put the, the links below for everything. So they, they work to start, but she's quickly out from them. So I don't really recommend these, but it's a good lower price option to start if you do need something for nighttime. And then we also purchased, gosh, I should have had this a little better organized. So I got a lot of cotton doublers so that during the day she has those. Um, then I also got a stay dry cotton doubler that's four layers of um, cotton. So this one is a little thicker. Well, we're gonna have to leave it down there for now. This one's a little thicker than just the regular doubler because this one's only two layers. Um, so this one's good for, I've been using this one at nighttime, added to this diaper. So it makes the diaper really thick. So I don't love it, but it is keeping her dry for almost 12 hours. And I've also tried it with the microfiber. And that is also done pretty well for about 10 hours. So you kind of have to play with the thickness and the types. See what is gonna, what works best with your baby. Cause I, you know, I'm in a, a cloth diapering mom's group. And some women say their babies are heavy wetters. Everly is not so far. Yeah. Um, so you, you'd really have to kind of play with it. But these are what are so far working for us. So this is um, just a cotton insert, and I bought them, didn't realize how, how skinny they were. So you can see how skinny they are compared to the other ones. So I'm not really sold on them, but they were great for the price. And so far they actually are working pretty well underneath my microfiber as just a day diaper. So I put my microfiber on top and do the cotton on the bottom side and put it in the diaper. And this keeps her pretty dry for about two hours. So I don't love how skinny they are, but they were, I can't remember how much they cost, but for the price, they were really cheap. Add in that extra layer to soak up more. So the reason I combine it with the microfiber is the microfiber soaks up quickly and the cotton holds a lot of liquid. Okay, and then the last type of insert I bought and so the majority of my inserts are from a company called Thirsties. Um, the last one I got is a hemp insert and it's 55% hemp and 45% cotton. This one I use at night matched with a microfiber and it really does help keep her dry. They are worth their weight in gold. So I'd highly, highly recommend buying these as well as the, um, the cotton doubler or the cotton stay dry. Those definitely seem to keep the diaper thinner and hold a lot of liquid. Um, and they're priced, they're kind of expensive. You only get three per pack and they're like 10 to $15 per pack. But I have noticed a huge difference in the amount of no leaking um, and the amount of time that she can sleep at night without getting wet, which is really huge. 
Uh, one thing I've noticed with my cloth is that we have not had any blowouts with poop. I know with my sisters, with their two babies, the amount of poopy blowout diapers that they would tell me they'd have on a daily or weekly basis was crazy. And we have not had a blowout, which is awesome. I don't know if it's because of the elastic around the legs and the back, um, but so far, fingers crossed, and from what I've read online, other women aren't having that issue either. So I'm not, you know, a genius about these. I don't know a ton of information, but if you have questions, you know, comment below and I'd, I'd love to try and help you out. I think these are really awesome, and especially right now with the diaper shortage in our area, I'm so glad that we do cloth. And when we did do disposables, we were doing almost a pack a week, $20. And so you, you compare that cost, 20 a week, to yeah, we spent quite a bit of money up front. Um, I think so, a woman ran numbers once with her amount of diapers and inserts. She was at about $300 in for the course of her child's life of living in diapers compared to about 2,500 to 3,000 using disposables. So not only are you helping the environment, but you're helping your pocketbook. Um, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, show you how I set up and do my inserts and put them into the diapers and um, get them set up for the next time the baby needs changed. Okay, so this is what I do after I've washed and dried everything. Um, I tend to do this while sitting on the couch when uh, Everly's up and awake, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do it here. So I sort out my inserts into piles. So cloth diapering does tend to be a little more time consuming than disposables. So if you are considering doing cloth diapers, that's something to consider that you will spend more time doing laundry and stuffing diapers. But to me, the, the cost comparison, there was no, no choice to save as much money as we are from having to use disposables and let alone um, helping reduce our trash footprint. <clears throat> to me, it's worth it. And I don't, I actually don't mind. It's kind of a nice part of my routine. So as you can see, this is my pile of washed uh, and dried wipes. So uh, what I do is I take them and I f pull them out and I lay them flat and I just make a pile. So I just stack them up and save them to put back into the diapers as a liner. So again, this saves So now that they're stacked, I put them to the side. So here's my stack of the microfiber inserts. This is my stack of um, the hemp bamboo for nighttime. My other stack of hemp, my stay dry cottons, and just my cotton doublers. These are not all of my inserts because some are, she was in some diapers today. So these are just the ones that were washed. And then these are the other cotton inserts, the skinnier ones. So again, you can see how narrow they are compared to the others. <clears throat> um, so I told you I have the Alba Baby brand. This is my favorite. It's one of the, the cheaper styles, but um, I liked it one because it was cheaper and two, the price, the, the designs, they have some really cute designs. And then now that we're up closer, can show you it unbuttoned all the way. So that's what it looks like, completely open and unbuttoned. And again, you can snap it all the way down to make it small, but she is currently on this snap. And then the other brand I do have six of are LBB. I don't like these as much as the Alva Baby. I feel like they run 
a little bit smaller and they haven't been holding up as well. Um, again, she's but she's now almost 10 months old. She's been using these for nine months and they get washed basically every other day. So overall, they are all holding up really well. They should hold up basically through her and any future babies we have. Okay, so now that I have everything all sorted, this is a daytime diaper. So I've kind of been playing with different inserts um, into each one. Nighttime is always my hemp, my hemp bamboo, um, or my cotton doublers with a microfiber or with each other. My daytime is my um, double cottons or this cotton with the microfiber. So I'm just kind of playing around to see what seems to work the best for her. I do like her in just the cotton doubler because again, it's so thin. So when it's in the diaper, it's the diaper isn't super, super thick. Um, you will notice with doing cloth diapers, their butts are rather fluffy. So a lot of people call them their, the fluff butts. Um, and I've noticed, at least with Everly, pants seem to be a little snug. So she has to kind of size up from where she is because of the thickness of the diaper. So here we go to stuff. So I fold it and pinch it between my pointer and my middle and thumb. I come down to the pocket area. Hold and pull until I feel it at the top edge. As I pull out, I keep my thumb along one edge to make sure it's staying pretty flat on the inside. And then I just make sure that the edges are flat as I pull all the way out. And then I just fold the top two corners, fold it up like I'm putting it on a baby, and snap. And there we go. This one is ready to get stacked and stored to be put on the baby tomorrow. So I will have a stack to start over here. Let me adjust the camera angle for a second. Do a thicker one. Again, I find these a little too thick together, but for now, it's a combo that I'm using. Um, I'm just afraid to do just the hemp and a microfiber. I may test one on her in a couple nights just to see how it does. with the microfiber. The microfiber needs to be on top because that's the quick absorber and that needs to be on the this side that will be on the baby's skin.
so there you have it. Diapers are packed and stuffed and ready to go. Um, nighttime diapers are in the bag to go upstairs, and these are her daytimes, which we keep downstairs. Um, I would just suggest do your research, figure out what's going to be the best kind of uh, cloth diaper for you. I chose the pockets because I thought that I like the option of increasing the thickness and absorption. Um, and then just a warning, FYI, people will probably look at you funny if you say you're going to cloth diaper. A lot of people have, um, a, I guess, what's the word, a stigma, is that it? Towards cloth diapers, thinking it's the way it was done back in the, the 80s or 90s, or even early 2000s. I'm not sure when, when these type came out. Um, there are lots of different types and brands and styles. And I guess the only other thing you guys may want to know is the fit for how it goes on the baby. And I could do another video on that, but real quick, the back always comes up nice and high up the bum. I like the front to be at the belly button and you want to be able to fit two fingers comfortably in the front when it's done on your child. Um, these are one size fits all. So she, they're supposed to fit from newborn to 35 pounds. They don't fit newborns very well. They do sell specifically newborn size cloth diapers. Um, but for us, we decided to do disposables because we were provided so many from the hospital and from our baby shower. And she was only in them for a month. So for us, it was more cost effective to just do the disposables for that one month. Um, but ever since, she's been in these. So I hope you guys found that informative and enjoyed. And everyone has their own routine, figures it out. What's your easiest, best way for storing, washing, stuffing, etc. Um, but I'm sold. I love them. We're going to use them for our next baby and any future children. So again, my little hats. Wash and dry your used wet wipes and use those as liners. Um, and yeah, I guess that's my really only little sneaky hack that I do compared to other people. <laughs> um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't, please subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And uh, again, leave any comments or questions below and I'll try and find answers for you. Thank you for watching. Say, can you say bye-bye? Oh. No. Say bye-bye. 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 <gasps> Good girl.